Tell you hey there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'll be looking at Surveillance Station. It's an awesome app on your QNAP device. In this case I'm using the TS453A and if you want to check out the review on that please do so here. I'll be quickly talking about Surveillance Station, what you use it for. I'll be showing you how to connect your network camera up to it. So let's crack on and get into it. <laughs> First things first, you'll want to log into QTS and then you want to download Surveillance Station. Now, if Surveillance Station is not on your NAS, it probably won't be on your NAS. You'll have to download and install it. To do that, you just go up here on the left and you just want to go down to App Center. So you click on App Center, then proceed to download Surveillance Station. Now, I've already installed it. Once you install it, it should give you a desktop icon. I'll just show you right here. Here's the desktop icon. And we'll just launch it. You'll go for a wizard to set up your Surveillance Station, set up your account. Then once you have, you obviously log in with the details that you set the account up with. So I'll just log in here. Now, once you log in, you'll be greeted by this page here. Now. As I said in my review of the TS453A, you will know that I said that this is the best bang for buck, the best NAS you can get, the best 4 bay NAS you can get, in my opinion. And one of the great things about it is, not just that it has much more features, connectivity, ports and so on, compared to its competitor at the same price, you also get 4 IP camera licenses. So as you can see here, we have 4 channels there. Now you can add them. You can add more licenses if you want. I'll just say that if you're going to be using your NAS just for surveillance, I recommend WD Red hard drives for pretty much every NAS. But if you're going to be using your NAS just as a surveillance station, you might want to get WD Purples or any other NAS surveillance hard drive. Now, WD Reds will do the job, no problems. I, I reckon they're the best bang for buck you can get. But the difference between, say, WD Purple or surveillance hard drives is they're meant to be written to and deleted many more times than what a normal NAS hard drive would. When you record footage, if you're continuously recording or even if you just set it up for motion detection, you're not going to keep all that footage. You would keep it typically for maybe a month and then you'll delete and write over it. The only time you really want to look at this footage is if something's happened to your house or something's happened you want to be able to look at this footage if your house gets burgled or something strange happens and you want to look at a video but you're not going to keep those recordings on your NAS there forever because there's no point so make sure you at least get WD Reds or get WD Purples or surveillance hard drives if you're using it just for surveillance if you're using your NAS just for surveillance now if you're using it for backing up and surveillance you're probably better off still sticking with the WD Reds so this is what you're presented with and what we want to do here is obviously add a camera so camera configuration let's go plus now check out my review on the NDMAX network camera this is the network camera I'm using for this and I've already set that up and now I want to add it to my NAS. So I search for cameras automatically, yes. And it will search and it will find my cameras. So there we have it. There are my two network cameras. As I said, they're the NDMAX IC 7113W. Now I'll just select and add one. We'll just add that one there go OK you'll need to know the password you'll need to know your login for that camera and we know the login then just enter them we'll test it first boom that's it now we can see this network camera as you can see it's winter and it's cold here in Melbourne so let's go next and then we want to set up how do we want to record it enable manual recording yes we want to enable that enable audio recording on this camera I don't really want to record the audio and this is what I mean by it's going to overwrite minimum number of days files are kept so 
I could set this to whatever I want. So if I want the files to be kept for 30 days, I'll keep them for 30 days, then after that they won't keep them anymore and it'll go over them. I can enable an auto snapshot. But for the sake of this, 720p is fine, 15 frames per second is fine, because really, just remember the higher quality settings you use, the more the more space you're going to need on your NAS. So I'll just leave it 15 frames per second, that's fine. I'll just leave it by the default. And one megabit per second, go to next. Now, I can enable the scheduling so that the camera comes on at certain times. I don't want to enable that because I want to just set up the camera to record to my NAS when there's motion. I do not want to continuously record, but if you want to continuously record or set a schedule, do so. Let's go to next. And there you have it. There we have the camera here. You can add four with the TS453A. You can add four because you have a license for four cameras and you can also add licenses now depending on which model qnap you have is how many licenses you have typically with the low end you might get one or two licenses this is why the ts453a is such a good nas is the features you get it's just phenomenal so just go on the camera overview and what we'll see is it's not recording it's on idle and that's typically how i want it i'll just go to monitor now when you go to monitor, it's going to tell you to install an app so you can monitor your cameras. Now, once you've downloaded and installed that app, just run it and it's called QVR Client. So download, install, run that app, and then it's going to ask you for these details here. And we'll just go to camera configuration. We've got the IP address there. What you want to do is just pump in the IP address of your camera and then the account details into it. I've only got one camera connected here at the moment, but essentially you can look at all your cameras. And if you had this many cameras, and if you had nine cameras, you would see all nine of them. But I only have four licenses with this NAS at the moment, and I've only got one camera connected. This front house one was a, another one. I can remove that. It's not there anymore. I will be putting that on another time. And if your camera's not here, you just add it in by right clicking on the camera here and going to add camera. Don't you love how apps do not scale for 4K screens in 2016? Come on QNAP, fix your app. And there you have it. Now, as you can see, it's connected and it's not recording. So we'll just go through some of the settings here. So you have your camera configuration. That's where you set up your camera. We've already done that. Event management. And this is where you would set up your events, as in motion detection and stuff like that. Now you can have it send it to your email or STP server. Send the alerts there. And because I'm not recording continuously, I just want to set up a motion detection event recording so what i'll do here is i've got camera one which is the one i'm using which which is the one we just set up we click on motion detection there we go to add um so channel one select one or more channels to start recording when an event is triggered yes we'll record that execute action for 30 seconds yep no worries we'll just apply that and that should start recording every time we have some motion detected on my camera now, depending on the camera, you may have to allow it to be able to record it remotely to your NAS. So you might have to configure something on your camera side. But that's how you do it on surveillance station. So view management. View management, it's so that's where you would select where the camera is viewing. Um, we'll just go to system settings, advanced settings here, recording length. So maximum recording length of each file. It's five minutes set up all this to your desired settings and you can select here where you want it to record and you can also set up here when you want to overwrite your old recordings privilege settings that's obviously just who can access it and then your playback paths 
You can also set up your playback path to where you want also. You have your surveillance logs here and this will tell you what's going on with your camera. Push services. Push services is obviously where you manage your push services. And here we have licenses and this is where you would add licenses. We get the four on the TS453A and if you want to buy more licenses you buy them and then you can buy them off QNAP and then you just add the um, licenses here and ping test is a ping test and just testing your cameras you can ping your cameras there and test it out so that's the basic setup of your surveillance station I think you'll find that it's a great tool you buy some of these network cameras, put them in your house as baby monitors or set them outside as security cameras, easy to set up. With this awesome QNAP, you get four licenses, which is probably more than enough. And if you're a business and you want to use more, well, just buy some more licenses of QNAP and you're ready to go. So I'd really like to thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Let me know what you think about Surveillance Station. Please like and subscribe and until next time guys, telly ho.